Listen, Linda, listen, Linda, listen, Linda, listen, listen. I got a message for you. This is going to take some time. I want you to think about it. Let's go. What's up, beautiful people? Woo! <laughs> yeah! Man, it's been a while. It's been a while. I'm not going to sing the song. I'm not going to do it. Y'all know it's been a long time. Shouldn't have left you without a dope vid to live to. Live to, live to. Anyway, um, I'm excited. First of all, Mike, why do you have on a beanie and a hoodie? Yeah, it, it was. it's 40 degrees uh, this morning in Birmingham in April. Uh, I don't know. April is fooling us. It's not even April 1st anymore. April is fooling us. So... I'm excited, man. Uh, this one, I want you to put on your thinking caps. My dub of the day, what is it? My dub of the day. First of all, before I get into it, if this is your first time seeing my face on your screen, your device, whatever, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you nicely to please go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you see when I post new videos, new interviews. I'm happy and excited to have you here. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission to grow this page. And I'm not because you ask not, so I'm asking you, go ahead and subscribe, like. I want to grow this page. I'm on a mission here. So listen, now that I've gotten that out the way and you've already subscribed, you subscribe, okay. You've already hit the notification bell. Did you? Okay, cool. My dub of the day is Thought Tuesday. Thought Tuesday. Thought Tuesday. I want you to put some thought into this. So you've heard the saying, if you grew up in church or you know anything about it, or maybe you just heard someone say this saying of, for every new level, there's a new devil, right? Raise your hand if you've heard that. For every new level, there's a new devil. Well, I was having a client uh, session this morning and I had a revelation and I thought about something. Is that a cop-out? Is that a cop-out? Is that saying, it's just a, just thinking out loud, right? Let me know what you think in the comments, by the way. Is that a cop-out? For every new level, there's a new devil. What I mean by that is this. Sometimes we always look for a scapegoat. We always look to blame things on God if it's something good or the devil if it's something bad. You know, God did this. God did the devil. So here's my thought. Here's my question to you on Thought Tuesday. For every new level, there's a new devil or is it for every new level, there's a new accountability? For every new level, there's a new responsibility. For every new level that we get to, there's a new accountability that we must hold ourselves to accountable so that we stay there, so that we keep progressing. For every new level, there's a new responsibility that we have that may be a lot more in depth than the one we had on the previous level. So is it time for us to step up to the plate, learn the lesson from that last level and progress and say, here I am showing up as my unapologetic and authentic self and I'm ready to pass this test and go to the next level. Y'all don't hear me. I don't know. What am I preaching? Listen, <laughs> listen, is this thought that I had, it was on my mind and it popped up in a session, in a client session. And I thought about that really hard. Ask us. Ask, we need to ask ourselves right now in this moment. Is it the responsibility and accountability that I'm afraid of? You know, often I heard someone say this and I say it often now. I don't know where the first place I heard it, but where's the first place or first person I heard it. But it's not that we fear failure so much. It's more that we fear success. It's more that we fear success because I don't know what's around that corner of success. I don't know what I'm going to have to do different than what I've been doing. I asked the client, I asked my client this morning, a close ended question, which that's a no, no in coaching. Don't do it. <laughs> I asked my client a close ended question and I say, are you comfortable where you are? Are you comfortable where you are? And my client stopped and was like, oh, wow. So I'm asking you, are you comfortable with where you are? Are you afraid of the success knowing that you have to change to go to that next level? Because if we fear failure, nobody would fail. If I fear a spider, I'm not going to say, oh, hey, little spider, how you doing crawling on my dashboard? Welcome to my mobile office. Oh, my God, it bit me. <laughs> right? You avoid the things that you fear. But it seems that we're attracted to failure. So are we really afraid of or fear the success. 
Is it the responsibility and accountability that we're afraid of on that next level? For every new level, there's a new accountability. For every new level, there's a new responsibility. What are you responsible for? You have the ability to respond. Responsibility. You have the ability to respond to every situation, every trial, test, complication, roadblock, setback that you have in life. So that's my thought Tuesday. I want you to answer that question for me. Tell me your thoughts. Please leave a comment. Share this with three people. Share this video with three people, whether it's text, send it to them, that share it on your Facebook page. Maybe that's way more than three people. But let me know what you think about this. Again, Thought Tuesday, just the thought bubbles popping up. Anyway, here we go. Have a good day. It's Tuesday. Let's do it. You know what it is. Murphy's Law. You are somebody. Today, you are great. Tomorrow, you'll be great because Ms. Murphy said so, and I concur. My three W's. Note that the universe is aligned to give you what you want, will, and work for in that order. My five P's. Let your power give you a passion that will pin you to your purpose. And once you plan properly, experience prosperity. That is spiritually, mentally, socially, physically, and financially. And know that you can do that. Know that you can answer that question once you think about it. And come up with a real answer for you. Know that you can embody Murphy's Law. The three W's, the five P's. Why? Because you are the five C's, baby. You're capable, confident, confident, conscious, and courageous. Mm to do any and everything that you seek to do in this life and the next. So get up, get out, get something, people. And know that when you do that, you have but one thing left to do. That is the four Ks, to keep going, keep grinding, keep showing, keep shining. As always, know that God loves you and so do I. And I want you to love life, live love, peace together, not apart. Y'all take care.